Hello viewers, this is Just Pregnant Work TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and out the news in details. Breaking presidency blast on the governor, Akere Dolu over ultimatum to its men. Akere Dolu had on Monday issued a statement giving its men seven days to vacate all forest reserve due to a high rate of kidnapping in the state. The presidency has condemned the seven-day ultimatum given to headsmen by the Ondo state governor, Rotimi Akere Dolu, to vacate forest reserves, urging the governors not to hurt outside the constitutions of the country. Akere Dolu had on Monday issued a statement given headsmen seven days to vacate all forest reserves due to the high rate of kidnapping in the state. The governor has banned the movement of cattle within cities and highways, as well as night grazing. He had said today we have taken major steps at addressing the root cause of kidnapping, in particular and other nefarious activities detailed and documented in security report, the press and the briefing from victims of kidnap cases in Ondo State. As the chief law and security officer of the state, it is my constitutional obligations to do everything lawful, to protect the lives and properties of all residents of the state. In light of the foregoing, the following orders are hereby issued. All forest reserves in the state are to be vacated by Etman within the next day, seven days with effect from today, Monday, January 18, 2021. But reacting in a statement on Tuesday, Senior Special Assistant to the President, Mohamed Buhari Gabashu, condemned the actions of the governor. Shell said that Kerry Dolu being a senior advocate of Nigeria and indeed a former president of the Nigerian Bar Association will be the least expected to unilaterally host thousands of herders who have lived all their lives in the state on account of their infiltrations of the forest by criminals. The statements read the presidency has been keenly monitoring events occurring in the state and the orders by the government of the state asking herders to vacate the forest in seven days. What is clearly emerging is a lack of consistency in messaging, which in turn leads to various contradictions regarding accuracy and the intent behind the message. There is little to, to be said other than to call for restraint on both sides and urge the state government and the leadership of the Fulani communities to continue their dialogue for a good understanding that will bring to an urgent end the nightmarish security challenges facing the state. Governor Rotimi Akere Dolu, a seasoned lawyer, senior advocate of Nigeria and indeed a former president of the Nigeria Bar Association NBA, has fought crime in a state with passion and commitment, greater sensitivity and compassion for the four years he has run its affairs and in our view will be the least expected to unilaterally host thousands of herders who have lived all their lives in the state on account of the infiltrations of the forest by criminals. If this were to be the case, right groups would be the will be will be right in expressing worries that a action could set off a chain of events which the markers of our constituent constitution foresaw and tried to get against. We want to make it clear that kidnapping, banditry and rustling our crimes, no matter the motive or what is above, what is involved, but to define crimes from the nameplate as a number of commentators have erroneously done which group they belong to, the language they speak, their geographical locations, or their fate is atavistic and cruel. We need to delink terrorism and crimes from ethnicity, geographical origins, and religions to isolate the criminals who use this interchange of arguments to hinder law enforcement efforts as the only way to deal effectively with them. The president who swore to defend the constitution has spoken against the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypope, in asking citizens to, no to northern origins to leave. He did not spare the group based in Sokoto Muslim Solidarity Forum which asks the Bishop of Sokoto to leave and is prepared to do all that the law permits to protect citizens all over the country in, their, in the choice 
of where they wish to reside and are treated as equal citizens. The government of Ondo State and all the 35 others across the Federation must draw clear lines between the criminals and the law-abiding citizens who must equally be saved from the infiltrators. Behind laws and order, the fight against crime is also a fight for human values, which are fundamental to our country. Wow, so viewers, what do you think about this? What is your own take about this? Trust me, Gabashew is... I mean, Gabashew does not even know what he's talking about. I don't want to say a word that, that will make people annoyed because how can you, for God's sake, start blasting the governor of Ondo State for giving an ultimatum to the Fulani people? Ah! This is crazy. So this is so clear to the extent that uh, President Muhammad Buhari and his people are the one destroying Nigeria. With the way things is going on. I'm telling you. So Yoruba Nation now is already in great problem if care is not taken. Because it shows that the Fulanis, they want to really forcefully govern the country. And you can imagine this Ethmen will hide under the constitution, one Nigerian to infiltrate every corner of Yoruba land and start performing evil atrocity. And by then, hmm, may God help us if care is not taken, we might end up being minority in the land our dear fathers labored for. May God help us. These people are wicked people. They are insane. They don't know what they are talking about. How can, for God's sake, the president come and start us making a nefarious statement? Statement that does not even make sense at all. May God help us. Because the questions that we need to ask is that, who did federal government dialogue with in 2020? Even when during lockdown and coffee strangers were being transported to various forests in the south. Who did federal government dialogue with when foreign Okada riders began to, to, to enter everywhere? What was their dialogue that time? What type of dialogue is she talking about, for God's sake? When people are being killed brutally, people are being kidnapped brutally, people are being raped brutally, and farms land destroyed by the Fulani headsmen. Why is federal government backing evil in Nigeria and asking for dialogue, for God's sake? What kind of dialogue is that? Why is federal government interested in taking over people's ancestral land in the name of this dialogue? Dialogue every time. Enough is enough. This is getting out of hands. Had the Fulani Mr. Gabashew referring, re, is he referring to not advance party to play host to the invaders? Not the same evil men. So what type of dialogue are they talking about? These people are not ready to listen. These people, they are so adamant. And I feel that there is no dialogue with any criminals. Criminals are to be dealt with. And that is it, period. There will be no entertainment of condolence and further delegations to any part of Nigerians anymore. This is not a good thing. We condemn the killings in strong terms and bringing perpetrators to book is no longer acceptable in Nigeria. Ah, I feel that Gabasho and Femi Adeshino and the rest, they need to tell the whole nation why they and their government opened borders for foreigners to come in when the borders were closed? Because why is it only the full and the whole nations is complaining about? Why are they not complaining, complaining about the Yorubas, the, the Hebrews? Why is it that it is only full and people? You can imagine what an insult. Gabashi insulting our collective intelligence in Nigeria. For God's sake. People are entering our land. 
They are killing people. They are killing innocent people, kidnapping people, collecting money from people. Who did they dialogue with? This is to tell us that this country is a mess. I'm telling you the truth. So guys, what do you think about this? What is your own take? Kindly drop your comments in the comment section below for those who subscribe. We want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. And if you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload, upload news, of course you will always be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. God bless you for always being there for us at all time. Thank you. Stay safe at this crucial time.